This is a requested tutorial. Someone asked me to refresh the climb everywhere tutorial, see if there's an easier way. And there is. We're going to use the Uma Farouk climb plugin and update it to 5.7. He said so himself. He's not updating it past 5.5 and in 5.6 and 5.7. There was a lot of changes plus our mover character. So in this, we're going to update it to 5.7 so that it works. This plugin is on an MIT license, so it's completely free to use, resell, and redistribute. If there's a tutorial that you want to see, then feel free to request it below and drop a subscription to stay up to date with anything that's coming out, game animation sample wise, 5.7 wise, mover wise, or just in general. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. So we're going to go to the GitHub site and we're going to just download the zip file. Grab that, right click it and extract it. And inside this zip file will be two components, trace traversal and trace uh, traversal calculations. So we're then going to copy them and go to our project. And we're going to put them into our uh, content folder just here, and you'll see that they have appeared. So go to blueprints, open up AC traversal logic and dock that, and then go and find the AC trace traversal calculations as well. Double click on the event graph. And what we need to do is we're going to just copy all of these functions across. Hit confirm. And just copy them all from the trace calculations into the traversal logic part. Like so, and then the same for the variables as well, just copy the variables too. Okay, so we're going to compile, we get all of these errors, and then we're going to come up to file and refresh all nodes, and our compile will go through perfectly fine. We can close uh, trace traversal calculations now, uh, close that completely, we don't need that. And we'll open up trace traversal, the other one. We're going to want this tag compare, we'll copy that and paste it inside here. And then again, what we're going to do is we're going to get the band tags. We only need the band tags and we'll put that in our variables and paste that in here. Compile file, just refresh all the nodes to make sure it's all fine and save. In our event graph, what we're going to do is go to try traversal action. And then right here on step 2.1. We're doing this level block traversal and setting the members in uh, the traversal check. We're going to delete this uh, cast. And then what we're going to do is undo this node. So right click and click break it and undo this blue wire. I'm going to right click and reconstruct these pins to put them back together. So you need to also do the hit impact as well and then recombine struct and then we're going to break it here so that we can manipulate it better All right blocking hit goes into the branch connect the branch up and then from hit actor we're going to get tags get tags so we can just promote this to a new local variable and this will be tags to compare that's going to go into true. This false just here can reconnect up. And then what we need is the hit component. And we'll get the component tags. Get component tags. And we're going to append array. And put the component tags into the bottom just there. And connect that up just like that. And then this, 
hit component needs to be fed into the set members part just here. And then the get ledge transform, we're going to delete. What we're going to do from there is we're going to try and calculate ledges, put this into the branch, get the out hit result from here and put that into the initial hit result. And then this structure out goes into the traversal check structure as well. We'll compare this. And then down here where we're getting the post history in 4.2. I just need to shimmy all this to the side. We're going to get tag compare. And plug that in between these two branches. We're going to want a new branch as well. So we get a new branch. And then plug that in from there. And then false goes into the is mover branch just here. From true, we're going to get a return node. So we're going to add a return node here and put this into true and tick traversal check failed. And then what we want is our tags to compare that we've put in just here and our uh, action type that we've put in just here. And we'll compile and save that. And now if I get a block, We should just be able to just double check this. Uh, so this is the old trace traversal and trace traversal calculations. So let's delete those. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is inside AC traversal, just on 2.1, we're tracing for traversal. We just need to trace for visibility instead. There you go. That's the gaps character. Still able to do all this stuff. Let's try the mover character. There we are in the mover character. We've got our static mesh. Just like so. Jumping through it. Doing everything we need. Like that. There is a caveat here. If your thing is super long, it won't jump up. So they need to be like one to 1.5 meters long to be able to trigger the trace to find the end of them. As you can see here, it all works.